Hello, and welcome back to QBank Pro Academy for another Q&A with detailed explanations. Join thousands of nursing students who have used our instruction. Remember to sign up for free resources with the link below, including a study guide, 75 question exam, quizzes, and more. Let's get started. You are caring for a patient in stage one of labor. Appropriate priority interventions are, select all that apply. A, encourage ambulation. B, monitor vital signs. C, monitor uterine contractions. D, monitor fetal heart rate. The correct answer is B, monitor vital signs. C, monitor uterine contractions. And D, monitor fetal heart rate. Explanation. During the first stage, effacement and dilatation of the cervix occurs. This is characterized by three phases, latent, active, and transition. The mother may be anxious as contractions become more frequent and stronger. The new UAP asks you about the physiotomy. You answer, A, drainage of excess amniotic fluid, B, a procedure to repair the cervix, C, a surgical cut made at the opening to facilitate a difficult delivery, D, a procedure to repair the posterior vaginal wall. The correct answer is C, a surgical cut made at the opening to facilitate a difficult delivery. Explanation. Episiotomy involves making a surgical cut to enlarge the birth canal during childbirth to prevent tearing of the tissue. Post-procedure, the mother will need to be educated about perineal care and provided with pain control. What is amniotomy? A, drainage of excess amniotic fluid. B, rupture of the amnion performed by the obstetrician. C, a test to sample the amniotic fluid. D, a procedure to repair the amniotic membranes. The correct answer is B, rupture of the amnion performed by the obstetrician. Explanation, amniotomy is done by a medical professional to rupture the amniotic sac. This may be referred to as breaking the water in lay terminology. There are some reasons for this procedure, such as post-term pregnancy. What are non-reassuring fetal heart patterns? Select all that apply. A, 15 beats per minute, more than baseline, and lasting at least 15 seconds. B, bradycardia. C, late decelerations. D, early decelerations. The correct answer is B, bradycardia, and C, late decelerations. Explanation, non-reassuring fetal heart patterns indicate fetal distress and indicate suspected hypoxia in the fetus. Some examples of non-reassuring fetal heart patterns are repetitive or prolonged decelerations, bradycardia, and tachycardia. What stage of labor is characterized by expulsion of the fetus? A, first stage, B, second stage, C, third stage, D, fourth stage. The correct answer is B, second stage. Explanation. There are four stages of labor. Stage one, effacement and dilatation of the cervix. Stage two, expulsion of the fetus. Stage three, separation of the placenta, stage four, physical recovery. During the second stage, often referred to as the pushing stage, the mother is concentrating on pushing with contractions. What are the priority interventions for amniotic fluid embolism? Select all that apply. A, place the mother in supine position. 
B, administer high flow oxygen to the mother. C, start intravenous fluids. D, prepare for intubation. The correct answer is B, administer high flow oxygen to the mother. C, start intravenous fluids. And D, prepare for intubation. Explanation. A is incorrect. The mother should be positioned on her side. The healthcare provider will be contacted immediately. Oxygen should be administered and the patient will be prepared for intubation. Fetal and maternal status will be monitored continuously. Which of the following characterize premature rupture of membranes? Select all that apply. A, there is an increased risk of infection. B, nitrosine test is negative. C, no intervention is required. D, rupture of the membranes before the onset of labor. The correct answer is A, there is an increased risk of infection, and D, rupture of the membranes before the onset of labor. Explanation. Premature rupture of the membranes is spontaneous rupture of the amniotic membranes before the onset of labor. When this occurs, infection is a significant risk. Proceeding after premature rupture of the membranes occurs is determined by the gestational age. What characterizes preterm labor? Select all that apply. A, labor occurring after the 20th week of gestation. B, labor occurring before the 38th week of gestation. C, labor occurring before the 37th week of gestation. D, risk factors of preterm labor are maternal age over 35. The correct answer is A, labor occurring after the 20th week of gestation, and C, labor occurring before the 37th week of gestation. Explanation. The correct answer is A and C. Preterm uterine contractions may be accompanied by abdominal cramping, multifetal pregnancy, a history of substance abuse, pregnancy in the very young, and older maternal age are risk factors. How many stages of labor are described? A, three stages, B, four stages, C, five stages, D, six stages. The correct answer is B, four stages. Explanation. There are four stages of labor. Stage one, effacement and dilatation of the cervix. Stage two, expulsion of the fetus. Stage three, separation of the placenta. Stage four, physical recovery. Stage one is the longest stage. During this stage, the mother should be kept informed about the progress of labor. What characterizes polyhydramnios? Select all that apply. A, polyhydramnios is associated with maternal infection. B, too much amniotic fluid around the fetus. C, polyhydramnios is associated with maternal diabetes. D, polyhydramnios is associated with maternal shortness of breath. The correct answer is B, too much amniotic fluid around the fetus. C, polyhydramnios is associated with maternal diabetes. And D, Polyhydramnios is associated with maternal shortness of breath. Explanation. Polyhydramnios is characterized by excess amniotic fluid surrounding the baby in the uterus. Some women with polyhydramnios do not have symptoms. Others may have abdominal pain or difficulty breathing. An ultrasound may be done to measure the amount of amniotic fluid. What stage of labor is characterized by separation of the placenta? A, first stage, B, second stage, C, third stage, D, fourth stage.
the correct answer is C, third stage. Explanation. During the third stage of labor, separation and expulsion of a placenta occur. The birth of the newborn occurs in stage two. In the third stage, the mother is tired after concentrating on pushing with contractions. What is meconium stained amniotic fluid? A. Staining of the amniotic fluid due to bile. B. Staining of the amniotic fluid due to the breakdown of bilirubin. C. Staining of the amniotic fluid due to breakdown of red blood cells. D. Staining of the amniotic fluid due to passage of the fetus's first bowel movement. The correct answer is D. Staining of the amniotic fluid due to passage of the fetus's first bowel movement. Explanation. Meconium refers to the newborn's first stool. It is normally passed within the first 24 hours. When meconium is passed in the amniotic fluid, there is a chance that the baby may aspirate or breathe it into the lungs. This can result in serious complications. What stage does the mother request to hold the newborn? A, first stage, B, second stage, C, third stage, D, fourth stage. The correct answer is D, fourth stage. Explanation. The fourth stage of labor is characterized by physical recovery, occurring after the birth of the newborn and expulsion of the placenta. The mother is tired during this stage, but eager to hold and engage with the newborn. What stage of labor is characterized by pushing? A, first stage. B, second stage. C, third stage. D, fourth stage. The correct answer is B, second stage. Explanation. During the second stage of labor, contractions become stronger and more frequent. It is also called the pushing stage. The birth of the newborn occurs in the second stage.